Hey there and welcome over here. I'm really excited to be sharing this video with you today. I put together some of my all-time favorite healthier snacks that I like to make for my family and I am going to be showing you in this video. I thought since the new year is upon us, a lot of people might be looking for healthier snack ideas. But anyways, I hope you guys are all doing well and if you are new here, we would love to have you. So go ahead and subscribe down below the video, but let's get to making some snacks. We're gonna start out by making these raspberry muffins. These muffins are so, so good. My little daughter, she especially loves them. To this bowl, I added in two eggs along with a half a cup of some maple syrup. Next, you're gonna be adding in three-fourths cup of some plain Greek yogurt. You could add some vanilla Greek yogurt or anything like that, but we like it with the plain Greek yogurt. Now I'm adding in three-fourths cup of some olive oil, two tablespoons of milk, and a teaspoon spoon of some vanilla extract. Next, you're just going to mix this all together. I'm mixing it with my electric mixer, but of course, you could just use a whisk. Now that we have our mixture nice and smooth and everything's combined, I'm adding in our cup and a half of some whole wheat flour, or you could use just some regular white flour if that's what you prefer. Then a half a cup of some rolled oats, a fourth a teaspoon of some salt, half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of some baking soda, and then again, you're going to mix this to combine. Now is the time you're gonna add in a cup of your favorite type of berries. I'm choosing to use frozen raspberries. You could use fresh or you could use blueberries. Seriously, any type of berry you like, you could add that in. And then you're just going to fold it in with a spatula so the berries don't get all crumbly. And then that is it for this mixture. This recipe makes about 12 muffins, so I have my muffin tin right here and I'm lining it with some cupcake liners just for some easier cleanup and then I did spray them with nonstick spray. And now I'm just going to evenly scoop our muffin mixture in the tins. This is gonna bake on 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. Here are my muffins out of the oven. I just sprinkled some powdered sugar on top. This recipe is fabulous. Everybody in my family enjoys them and they're a nice little meal prepping snack for the entire week. Now we're making one of my favorite snacks ever. These are some zucchini pizza bites. To get this one started, I'm just using two zucchinis. Of course, use more or less zucchinis depending on your preference. I'm just slicing them into half inch thick rounds right now. To my cookie tray lined with parchment paper, I'm adding our zucchini rounds right now. I'm kind of spreading them out so they're not overlapping. And now with my marinara sauce, I'm just using this type, but use whatever your favorite marinara sauce is. I'm just pouring some on each of our zucchini bites. Now you'll want to add any type of topping you want on top of these pizza bites. We just like to do some mozzarella cheese, parmesan cheese, pepperoni, and then some pizza seasoning to give it plenty of flavor. But if you like olives or if you like ham or pineapple or anything like that, you could add that on top of these little bites and it will turn out fabulous. This is going to go into a preheated oven to 375 degrees and I baked this for about 10 minutes and then I did leave this under the broiler for an additional one to two minutes at the end. Here are my little pizza zucchinis out of the oven. I cannot even begin to tell you how much my family loves this recipe. It's also lower carb, so if you're trying to stick to a lower carb diet, this might be the recipe for you, but don't knock it until you try it. This is absolutely delicious. Now we're making some breakfast bars or these are perfect for a little snack to pick you up during the day. So to this bowl, I'm adding one cup of oats along with a fourth a cup of some walnuts I sliced into smaller pieces and then two tablespoons of some coconut flakes. And then you're gonna wanna add your two thirds cup of peanut butter. Use any type of peanut butter you enjoy. 
This truly is a very simple recipe. Now I'm just adding about a tablespoon and a half of some honey and then you're going to mix this all together. I have my 8x8 baking dish right here and I'm just lining it with some aluminum foil for some pretty easy cleanup. I'm going to place our mixture that we just made up right in there and then you're going to spread it out to the best of your ability. Yes, it is a little bit thick, but it will eventually get nice and even. Now we're gonna work on the chocolate glaze that goes on top. So to this bowl, I'm adding about a half a cup of these dark chocolate chunks. And then right in there with it, I'm going to add a tablespoon of some coconut oil. I'm going to microwave this for about a minute. And then I'm going to check on it about every 10 seconds and stir it to ensure that it's nice and smooth. Here it is out of the microwave. I'm going to drizzle it on top and then spread it out as even as possible. Before I plop this in the refrigerator, I'm going to add some more coconut flakes and walnuts on top just to make it look a little bit nicer. This is gonna go in the refrigerator to chill for about an hour to ensure that everything sets. Here we are about an hour later. I just pulled the aluminum foil out of my eight by eight baking dish. That's why I like to put foil in there. It's so easy to clean up after. But anyways, I'm going to cut these into bars. Now you could cut them into any size you like. Here is the finished product. These are wonderful. They're almost like homemade granola bars, but of course better and cheaper granola bars can get pretty expensive in the stores. But anyways, these are wonderful. They have great flavor, plus they will leave you full for hours. Now we're making some peanut butter banana bites. This one's a really, really fun one. If you have kids, they might be able to make this one with you. So to get this one started, I'm just dicing up two bananas into smaller pieces. Of course, use more or less bananas, just depending on your preference. Now we're going to assemble these. So on my cookie tray right here, I have some parchment paper lining it. And in this little bowl, I have some peanut butter. I'm just putting peanut butter on one side of the banana and then I'm getting another little banana and putting it on top almost like a sandwich. Now that I'm through with that step, I'm going to place these in the freezer to harden for about an hour. Now that the hour is almost up, I'm going to make our chocolate sauce. Once again, I have a half a cup of dark chocolate chips and I'm adding a tablespoon of some of this coconut oil to it and I'm going to do the same thing by microwaving it for about a minute on increments. Now I'm just dipping half of our little banana bites into that chocolate sauce. I'm doing it with a toothpick just because I found that was the easiest way to dip it into the chocolate. I'm going to place these back into the freezer to harden for an additional hour after I'm through dipping it in the chocolate. And then here is the finished product. These are so, so good. And if you like to eat ice cream at night, this is a great substitute to eating ice cream or anything like that. It's just a wonderful sweet treat. Now we're making some yogurt chocolate covered raspberries. They actually some, sell something very similar to this at Costco, but it's pretty pricey at Costco, so we like to make it at home. To get this one started, I have my raspberries right here and I'm just dipping them into some vanilla Greek yogurt and then placing them on a lined cookie tray with some parchment paper. These raspberries are gonna go in the freezer to harden for about an hour. Now that the hour is up, once again, I'm going to make the same chocolate sauce mixture that I made before. This next step is pretty simple. Now that my chocolate is melted, I'm going to dip our frozen raspberries into the chocolate and then set them back on our parchment paper lined cookie tray. Once I'm through doing this with all of the raspberries, these are gonna go back in the freezer to harden for an additional 30 minutes to an hour. 
Here's the finished product out of the freezer. These are amazing. I cannot even begin to tell you how much I love them. They're probably one of my favorite snacks of all time. And that is a wrap for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And maybe you found a snack that you might enjoy yourself. I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe and healthy out there. If you are new here, we'd love to have you. So go ahead and subscribe down below the video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.